Hello, students. Hello, hello. Thank you guys for joining me today. We are going to be talking about um, making appointments, making schedules in English today. So I'm going to give you some really good phrases that I think a lot of textbooks don't share with you. So um, I think this will be really helpful. Oh, Tetet wins here. Hello. Hello, Karar. Hello, Niam. Dasgi. Hello. Okay. So before we get into today's lesson, if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel, that really helps me out. Um, if you could uh, like the Facebook page, that really helps me out too. Like this lesson and share it with a friend who is also learning English. Okay. Welcome, everyone. What country are you from? Hello, hello. Thank you guys for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. So um, we're going to go over the lesson. So I hope you're ready. Um, let's see. Let's bring it up. Okay. Here we have talking about schedules in English. So schedules, appointments, things like that, where you need to agree on a time, a place, um, a day, okay? So those types of things, all right? Hello from Pakistan, Bangladesh, Laos, Tanzania. Uh, hello, hello, oh my gosh, so many countries. Pakistan, oh, hello everyone, uh, Iraq. Welcome. Okay, so um, let's get into it. So talking about schedules, practical English lesson. So I think this is going to be very practical because um, this is what you can use for um, appointments, schedules, meetings. So if you need it for work, you can use this for business meetings. Or if you're just trying to an arrange an appointment with a friend, um, very useful. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Hello, hello. Okay, so talking about schedules, ready. So here um, we have deciding on a time, okay? Deciding on a time. So I have this sample dialogue, sample dialogue, okay? Can we meet next Thursday? Let's say, at five o'clock. Sorry, next Thursday doesn't work for me. All right, how about next Friday at 4.30? Actually, 5.30 works better for me. Sounds like a plan. Hmm, okay. So let's get into um, this conversation a little bit. So we have Let's say, let's say, I often use let's say when I'm trying to uh, suggest a um, time, date, or location for meeting. Let's say, okay? So we can use let's say when you want to suggest a time, date, or location. You can use let's say. Okay, so um, this, this doesn't mean uh, speak, let's say, let's talk, let's speak. It, it doesn't mean that. It means let's agree on this time or let's agree on this date or location. So let's say typically means let's agree, let's agree, okay? So uh, what time should I pick you up? What time should I pick you up? Let's say eight o'clock. Okay, let's say eight o'clock. Very good. So we can use it for a time, a place, a date. Let's say next week, Tuesday. Let's say we meet at uh, the restaurant across the street. Okay. We can also use doesn't work, doesn't work. 
you will often hear this when people are um, trying to tell you that a time, date, location is not good for them, inconvenient. So when you want to say that a time, date, or location is not convenient, not convenient, inconvenient for you, you can use doesn't work, doesn't work. Or if there are multiple dates, don't work, okay? So examples, next week doesn't work for us. So if you just see this sentence, you might get confused. Next week doesn't work. What does that mean? You don't have a job? You don't have, uh, you don't have to go to work next week? But it means that next week is not good for us. Next week doesn't work for us. Very good. Oh, I see some examples. So you have, it doesn't work for me. So I would say, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. Very good. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, but eight o'clock doesn't work for me because I have to work late. So if your friends are saying, hey, why don't we have a party? Okay, let's say eight o'clock. I'm sorry, but eight o'clock doesn't work for me because I have to work late. So eight o'clock is no good. Very good. Okay. Then we have works better. Works better. So works better is the opposite of doesn't work, right? So when you want to suggest a time, date, or location um, is more convenient for you, you can use works better, okay? So if somebody suggests a time and you say, sorry, that doesn't work, uh, this day works better. This day is more convenient, okay? Actually, downtown works better for me. So we often use actually when we are kind of um, rejecting somebody's offer or somebody's suggestion. So somebody says, why don't we meet at your house? Actually, downtown works better for me. Or actually, uh, the sushi restaurant works better for me. Okay, so works better is more convenient, more convenient. Okay, meeting at three works better for my boss. Meeting at three works better for my boss. Oh, I have, this is a good one. So the question sentence is, does next week work for you? Yes, perfect. That is a perfect sentence. Does next week work for you? Very good. So you could say, does next week work for you? Does three o'clock work for you? Does downtown work for you? Very good, okay? Oh, please teacher, explain to me what's the meaning of schedule, please. So a schedule is when you are trying to decide a time or place or low uh, date to meet someone, to meet someone. So you want to schedule something in. So like uh, you have a calendar, calendar. So on Monday, I have English class. On Tuesday, I have um, chemistry, right? So that is your schedule. So a schedule is um, deciding the time or date to do something, okay? Very good. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's look at another one. Sounds like a plan. So Americans will often say this, um, so it's very, very useful, okay? When you agree on a time, date, or location, you can use sounds like a plan. So when you agree, when you agree, everything is settled, we agree. So. Do you want to meet at the sushi restaurant? Sounds like a plan, sounds like a plan. For sure, okay, there is no problem. Sounds like a plan. This is one expression 
one expression. You don't need any subject here. So you don't, you can say it sounds like a plan, but usually people will just say sounds like a plan. Very good. Okay. Oh, let's see. Uh, maybe 1230 JST, so Japan Standard Time, works better for my teacher, Brie, to live on Facebook. Very good. I would say to go live on Facebook. Yes. So I think 1230 is a good time. So I, maybe I will try 1230. It works. It works uh, good for all of you too. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, sounds like a plan. I agree. Let's do that. Okay. Oop. Did I do let's say already? Yes. Let's say is finished. Okay. So, sorry. That was an extra slide. Okay. So, let's look at this conversation one more time. Okay. Can we meet next Thursday? Let's say at five o'clock. Or actually, we can take out at also. Let's say 5 o'clock. Let's say at 5 o'clock. Either one is okay. So let's say means um, how about 5 o'clock? Or why don't we agree on 5 o'clock? Okay? Let's say at 5 o'clock. Sorry, next Thursday doesn't work for me. So next Thursday is inconvenient, not good, okay? All right, how about next Friday at 4.30? Actually, 5.30 works better for me. So 4.30, you suggested 4.30, but 5.30 is better. So we would say 5.30 works better for me. Then if you agree, everyone is satisfied, everyone thinks it's a good time, sounds like a plan, sounds like a plan. Very good, okay, very good. So if you can make some example sentences, I would love to see them. Um, I can put them up on the screen. Uh, let's see, I can bring my face back. Very good. Um, let's see. Oh, hello from Bangladesh. What about tomorrow? Sounds like a plan. Very good, very good. That is an excellent sentence. So if you agree, tomorrow is a good day to meet or a good day to do something. Sounds like a plan. There is no problem. Very good. Ah, this is uh, not related to this lesson, but how to know the difference between can and can't in American accent. So I'm actually creating a whole uh, lesson course on pronunciation um, of things like this, can and can't. So uh, a lot of Americans don't pronounce the T's at the ends of words. So can, can, C-A-N, can, and can't, we often say can't, can't, can, can't. Um, usually it's really understandable if you understand the context of what's being said, but uh, I think I will make a whole um, pronunciation course on this topic, so please look out for that in the future. Hello from Sri Lanka. I'm going to start our meeting at three, but my client doesn't work at that time. Ah, very good. So uh, if you say my client doesn't work at that time, maybe um, that means your subject is my client. So your client doesn't work. That sounds like um, your client is not working at their job. So what we want to do is say something like, I'm going to start our meeting at three, but it doesn't work for my client or that time doesn't work 
for my client. So you want to have the subject as um, the time, place, or date. Something doesn't work for someone. Okay, very good. Okay. Can we travel on Saturday evening? Sounds better for me. So sounds better means something sounds good. Um, if you want to say it is more convenient, we would say, can we travel on Saturday evening? It works better for me. It works better for me. Then if you agree, you can say, sounds like a plan. Excellent. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. How about having a lesson early in the morning? Very good. How about, so when, when you want to suggest a time, how about having a lesson early in the morning? Very good. Uh, I will try to have a lesson early in the morning if you'd like. Okay. Uh, we're going to play basketball at 11.40 a.m. Sounds like a plan. Very good sentence. Very good. Excellent. Uh, let's say the day after tomorrow. It works better for me. Very good. Very good. So let's say, so you're saying, uh, how about, or let's agree on the day after tomorrow. It works better for me. It's more convenient. Good job. Uh, let's see. I'm planning to come over you next week. So maybe I'm planning to come over to your house next week. I'm planning to come over to your city next week. How do you think? So instead of how do you think, usually we say, what do you think? That will be great. Very good. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Would you give us a book, a good book for improving our English? And it's a little easy. Ah, okay. So, um, if you want some book suggestions, I can I can make um, a, a list for you. I can definitely do that. Maybe um, sometime this week, I will try and do that. Okay. Healthcare staff arranged a vaccine appointment on Friday, but it doesn't work for me. I have to reschedule. Very good. Well, I hope you uh, get your vaccine. Here in Japan, uh, uh, we, we haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> Good example. What time do you have lunch? Maybe 1 p.m. Sounds like a plan. I want to treat you at a hot pot restaurant. Yeah. Oh, very good. Ooh, hot pot sounds very good right about now. Okay. Oh, hello from Myanmar. Let's travel to town at dawn. It's better to me. Very good. Maybe we could say it works better for me or it's better for me. Okay, very good. You guys did such a good job. Wow. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to end the lesson here today. We're going to have a brand new lesson um, on YouTube later tonight. So if you want to subscribe, you'll know when uh, that lesson is available. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and uh, if you could, please like this lesson and share it with one of your friends. Um, that really, really helps me. And I really appreciate it. It motivates me to work harder. Okay. Thank you everyone for joining. And I will see you um, in a little bit later on YouTube. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye, everyone.